Welcome to this presentation of the newly announced strategic services collaboration between Synergy and SAP Data Management and Landscape Transformation, or DMLT in short. My name is Stefanie Kübler, I'm the Vice President of DMLT. And well, if you're looking us up in the organization, we are part of SAP Customer Success or Services. I'm here today to share with you some information that is crucial about this collaboration. And together with Rex Alstom from Synergy, we will go through some of the details of this recent announcement. So Rex, over to you. Great, thanks very much, Steffi. And uh, thanks everybody for attending this session. Um, as Steffi mentioned, I'm with Synergy and I'm the Chief Strategy and Technology Officer. And uh, we've been working very closely with the DMLT team to really bring some exciting new capabilities to the marketplace and to our customers. Um, we've been a solution extension partner to SAP for a long time, but this is a unique collaboration where we've worked together with the MLT to look at how we can really accelerate the move to S4HANA and bring something new to the market. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about one of the three transition approaches to SAP S4HANA and our customers who have certain, let's say, challenges going to SAP S4HANA. But maybe in short, why do customers choose to go to SAP S4HANA? Well, I would say the most, let's say, present um, reason is to really make use of innovations, especially in today's context of everyone is digitalizing much quicker than, than ever, innovation and making use of innovations together with automation, making use of data and data insights is one of the key drivers. And SAP is offering here a platform and SAP s for hana for customers to really make use of that. When we consider though, how customers get from their current landscape to SAP s for hana there's three transition approaches that SAP offers. One is system conversion. You could also say that's the reuse. The other one is new implementation. You could say that's the redesign. And the third one is selective data transition or SDT in short. That's the context of our conversation today. It's all gonna be about selective data transition, SDT. So what we wanna offer here to customers is really a comprehensive solution together with Synergy so that we can reduce this very complexity of moving to SAP s hana So how do you see that Rex? Uh, I think it, it comes down to really to the strength of collaboration that we've had in, in building out this capability. Of course, we already have the powerful tool sets from DMLT, as well as, again, the Synergy offerings of advanced data migration via SAP. Um, but we put a, a strong focus on customer success. So the collaboration has really focused on that outcome, more so than technology or just services to say, how can we leverage the best of both of our capabilities to provide this faster, smoother transition to S4HANA? With that in mind, um, Steffi, maybe you could share a little bit about specifically how DMLT supports customers transitioning to S4HANA. You know, we've been dealing as an organization with data and data transformation and changes for years. Actually, I should be saying for decades. So we pretty much listened to what our customers were saying when they talked about their challenges. And we see here some, let's say, major reasons why customers choose for a selective data transition when they approach SAP s for hana And to give you maybe some of the examples, it's, you know, some customers want to make use of the innovation, but not get rid of all the investments that they've been doing for years into their ECC environment. Customers are wanting to clean up the SAP systems because they've been growing over years. And well, some customers are facing huge, huge transformations when they move to SAP S4 HANA. And well, if they put this in, let's say sequential projects, they would never ever get ready. So they want to get rid or jump over of some of the pre projects. I want to directly jump onto SAP s for hana For sure, cloud plays a role in here too. So customers want to stream their systems into the cloud or one of the foremost reasons why SAP customers choose for a selective data transition is 
they need to retain some of the historical data, including the historical data flow. So given that, that's, that's quite some reasons why customers are moving via an SDT approach to SAP s hana So Rex, why don't you tell us why customers get a better support now when we put the two solutions together and how you would see um, IDM as being a, let's say, speeding up the s hana transformation project? Yeah, thanks, Steffi. Um, I think one of the exciting things when we began the collaboration was to understand the power of both of our solutions as well as what we offer via services. And it and what came out of it really was that we focus on different things, but with a common goal. So, for example, we'll use SAP Advanced Data Migration to help profile, standardize, and cleanse data even prior to the migration to s hana We've got a lot of focus on delivering data quality levels 99.7% or higher. And it's not just about the percentage, it's about how that data quality then ensures the success of the new processes that are running in S4. And being able to tie that also back to uh, speed of load and all of the capabilities that the MLT has brought historically to customers is marrying, again, the best of both worlds. Um, there are also, also some unique things here in terms of how advanced data migration is positioned. So it is SAP's only third-party product recommended to move customers within the S4 Move program. Uh, we've been doing this for over 24 years, so we know it. And it doesn't matter how complex your environment is, we can handle it. And we've delivered against these large and complex projects globally with some major SAP customers. Having discussed the reasons for our customers uh, looking at selective data transition, can you elaborate a little bit more on the benefits that they'll get through our collaboration? Right. So you now we are very experienced for decades around the data migration approach and how to transform data. I think what we really can offer here jointly, um, having ADM, SAP ADM by Synity with our solutions from DMLT and in, in common is that we have a complete and comprehensive end-to-end -end solution that we can offer to customers. Because dealing with the data and the quality of the data, cleansing, transforming the data before you put this on SAP s hana is one of the crucial steps. This is where I, I see really the, the big benefit, Rex. Excellent, yeah, makes total sense. Um, so we mentioned a little bit about some of the scenarios and reasons why customers select selective data transition, but maybe we could dig a little bit more into the actual scenarios that we'll support together. That's a really good term, Rex, I would say, is talking about scenarios. Well, traditionally, when we talk about how to move to SAP s hana we have just three transition approaches, the new implementation, the system conversion, and the in-between scenario selective data transition but there is no such as one SDT project. There is different scenarios or spins you could get um, to that. Thinking about this color coding that is very often used like greenfield as new implementation or system conversion to be referred to a brownfield. A selective data transition could be either a little bit more greenish or a little bit more brownish. And what you see here is maybe what we could think about being the three best practices that we see so far in the market. Um, number one being a Greenfield Plus that implies already a little bit um, that it belongs more to a new implementation solution, which is, you could even say, a little bit of an extension to a classical new implementation because some of the processes, most of them to be found in logistics, will be transferred also with historical data. The second one is actually Client Transfer Plus. That refers more to a system conversion. And what happens here is that you build something like a template from the source system, very often referred to as a shell approach or a shell copy. And then you actually work with um, the conversion logic to get the system onto SAP s hana The last one, number three, consolidation. Well, that's a need that we get from a lot of customers. Think about customers that have been growing their landscape for years, you know, all on ECC, and instead of converting or new implementing one after the other, 
they think about, hmm, is it time to consolidate the systems? So for example, merging multiple systems, maybe three, maybe four, into one target system, system which is SAP s hana That's an approach um, that just did not just reduce um, TCO, but also the question on, hey, how can we get and gain speed to our implementation projects? So I think these are the three scenarios, patterns uh, that we see right there in the market that we want to push forward with a selective data transition. And I think that's that's really helpful for the customers too, because it's not just one size fits all, right? Every customer is going to have a unique set of requirements. And so the ability to flex this solution uh, is yeah. going to be very powerful to drive the outcome they need the most. Yeah. So we've talked a lot about the collaboration between our teams and between our companies. What are some of the key messages that you want uh, the audience here to take away from, from that collaboration? I think one of the, the key points for me is that you're talking here to experts that have been doing these kind of project work for years, or like we say, Rex, for decades, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that we have quite some experience here in the market with customers. And I think what is really, really unique is that we offer an end-to-end -end solution. So really considering the whole life cycle of data, um, the whole quality aspects. And whilst SAP IDM by Synergy is doing some of the groundwork, let's say for extraction, harmonization, cleansing of customer data, we actually have finally a complete and powerful solution where it comes to also migrating that data to SAP s hana So I think what we offer customers really is here the high end version of data quality speed savings and also the predictability of the project success that customers deserve. This is how I would round it up. So in terms of our delivery, uh, I don't know if you want to open this one up on global. Delivery. I think that makes sense. That's, that's a good point, Rex, um, talking about delivery. Because in the end, that also plays a big role, right? When we have to deliver these projects. So we as an organization, and these days, I would say it's even more important than ever we are a global organization with quite some, let's say, experiences, I would say in most, in most of the SAP countries all over the world, even with uh, physical people and being physically in, in the countries in that world. Um, also with references globally and more or less all the industries that we have. So I would say we have quite a strong footprint globally to deliver those services. How about the setup for Synity Rex? Yeah, and uh, uh, the same is true for us. Right? So having been in this area and doing this type of work for a very long time, we're in pretty much every time zone, every region that a customer may have uh, facilities or systems, we can work remotely, uh, which is especially uh, in our current circumstances and dealing uh, with COVID in 2020 been very uh, handy. Uh, but really, no matter what the situation is, we can engage as one team with DMLT. So Synity and DMLT together to deliver the outcome that's expected, no matter where in the world you are, or no matter what the constraints are you're facing. All right, Rex, it's been a pleasure, as always, talking to you and having that conversation. Thanks for rounding it up, Rex. Yeah, thanks very much, Steffi. And I really appreciate, again, this opportunity to be collaborating with you and the team. And we look forward to hearing from everybody out there uh, that's watching this to see how you can learn more.